yeah, yeah, yeah. And this will be the uh, the one that gets us flagged and gets uh, James's YouTube taken down. It'll well, this great. will be the one I won't oh. clip out. The, <laughs> the one bit <laughs> that stays in the episode. <laughs> the, uh... hey, have you guys seen, uh, this is like a, a, a cartoon adjacent question. Uh, have you guys seen uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? I have. I mean, me and Garrett just saw it. Not to be short, like a week ago. Uh, yeah, I've... It was it was something. It was it was not fun. <laughs> oh, did you well, like it? So I went with JT and Lisa uh, to a Dolby Vision screen, and I had a forty milligram gummy beforehand, and I was like, "What's happening? There's a new Ghostbusters movie. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I don't know what's happening." <laughs> so I had to watch it for a second time in the UK. And I really liked it. But the first time around, I was just tripping so much. So you did like it. That's interesting because me and Garrett were pretty bummed uh, walking out of the theater. Really? Because I thought it was kind of boring. Like, I thought, like, there were too many characters for one, right? Because mm-hmm. you had, there's, like, literally eight people. Like, why did Patton Oswalt need to be in this movie? And I like Patton Oswalt, but why did he have to be in this movie? There's a random, like, Ernie Hudson having his random side Ghostbusters thing where it's like, well, why is that not just a part of... The regular Ghostbusters. Also, I feel like there wasn't enough ghost busting, you know. That, that's true. That That is true. I don't know. I, I think, like, I, I just, you know, I live in a world that there's now another Ghostbusters movie where yeah. the Ghostbusters are ghostbusting, and you got Peter Venkman being Peter Venkman, yeah. and I just feel lucky to experience that. Cause the, the, that I guess, for movie, sure. Yeah, I, you know, they, they need to make one more movie, just make it about the old guys, you know, like grumpy old Ghostbusters or something. <laughs> <laughs> if they make grumpy old Ghostbusters like that, I'll sign up for all day long. It's that's it. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, we haven't stopped talking about Ghostbusters. Like, the best part about the movie coming out is how often me and Garrett, even when you were over, how often we just kept talking about Ghostbusters. Like it did dude, bring it back yeah. to the world in a way that feels awesome. I just wish the movie mm-hmm. was better. <laughs> yeah, dude, Ghostbusters 2, I watched that the other night, the TV uh, version that's on the Blu-ray. I love that movie. Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, 2 rules. Was, it's incredible. If people, look, pre-internet, I just thought everyone loved Ghostbusters 2. Then you get on the internet and you realize they don't like Ghostbusters 2. They don't like Gremlins 2. That's crazy. crazy. You insane. realize that the vast majority of the population are fucking idiots yeah. is what it is. <laughs> but I also learned that Bill With Murray apparently also hates Ghostbusters too. Like I was we were me and Garrett found this like kind of documentary YouTube video about like all the canceled Ghostbusters threes. And it's like it's hilarious because mm-hmm. they constantly show these interviews, Bill Murray, from whenever Ghostbusters 2 ended. Like whenever like they were promoting that movie till about like a year ago of every interview Bill Murray's ever been in being asked about Ghostbusters three <laughs> and how visibly mad he gets and then he also talks about how much he hates Ghostbusters two. Yeah, but this guy made like Lost in Translation. Yeah, Ghostbusters yeah. two is high art. That courtroom scene alone <laughs> is, is amazing. Probably one of the greatest yeah. scenes in cinema history. And I've watched some amazing breakdowns of how they did a lot of that shit, and it's like so smart. Like a lot of the ghosts in that scene. Do you know they filmed them on like uh, these like metallic fucking like balloons? So like they're they're, they're so basically what you're seeing is the reflection from the ghost to get them on this like metallic balloon <laughs> and then composite it. And then the scene where the ghost grabs the chick and goes like through the wall. Yeah. There's actually mm-hmm. like if you look you if you have to look like real close, but there's a jump cut because as the way they did it going her through the wall is that they built a fake set of the same door that's there already and then. So it's a big open, so there's no top to the door. So the lady goes through it on a wire. Then they add the ghost part on top of that. Then the coolest part is that they build a miniature, and they film that, and they place the miniature on top of the empty space of the door they just recreated. So it's all like one long shot, and it's so sick. Dude, it, it's an incredible movie, and I don't understand the commentary of, oh, it's just like the first film, because I don't think it is. It's completely different to the first film. I think you so. Know, if, People that say that, they don't realize that all films have, like, a beginning, middle, end, and they follow the hero's journey. Yeah. You know? the, the, yeah. It's all, it's all, uh, it's all Campbell anyway. So who cares? Yeah. You know? Yeah, all, yeah, all yeah. That. What is it? Uh, the Greeks told us there are only, uh, what is it, seven Sorry. types of stories? Something oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> I'm going to say nine. <laughs> nine. Okay, okay. Nine. 
nine. Nine. Uh, however nine. many they said. Oh, the I don't know. Nine. But the ten, Greeks. because it's also Ian Miss Campbell. Ah, right. Ah. Yeah. Very there good. Go. But, but all that to say, there are limited ways to tell things, and it's, it's the brush that you paint with around yes. that story. It, yeah. it's, it's the brush that you use. And, like, I, I, don't, I don't get the big problems with something that can be fun and a technical feat. And I don't see why people shit on that. No. I also, you mentioned it before, but Gremlins 2, I think almost a superior Gremlins. Yeah, dude, I'm I love so Gremlins 2. It's I awesome. Mean, I, I recommended saw... Gremlins 2 to Lloyd in the taxi. We we're going to the airport together and we we're just talking about Joe Dante. I'm like, but have you seen Gremlins 2, the new batch? And Lloyd's like, no, I haven't, Liam. And I'm like, dude, you would love that movie because it makes fun of sequels, it makes fun of the whole. You know, he even does like that meta thing where it like cuts like a theater, right? And then like Hulk Hogan stands up and was like, "Hey, turn this movie back on." And then like one of the Gremlins flies through it through the bat signal, <laughs> all in like right. one scene. It's incredible. It hits so hard. It has the so horny heavy. Gremlin, the horny lady Gremlin? Come on, man. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> give me that all day. Uh, not since Star Wars has a weird, scaly, alieny, monstery thing, you know, done done as much for me. And I'm pretty sure that one uh, scientist bangs her, does he not? Or they get married? I know, right? Well, I think he fucked a gremlin because yeah. he. I, I I'm pretty sure there's a shot, right? He has all like the lipstick all over him. Yep, that's right. She, At the end, she got hers, <laughs> but that. <laughs> now he'll get hers. his. <laughs> uh, but you know what I'm talking about, though. Like, like as far as like production design for that goes too, and like the level of um, uh, of effort and energy that so many people put in when the building is basically like collapsing, and then there's what like the eggs and the water and the whole everything yeah. everywhere. It's I I don't know. There's so much. And to the that idea movie. of so taking cool. it out of a small town. And then putting in this big corporate building in the eighties is like pretty awesome. Like, dude, it's incredible. Yeah, like, how, but, like it's like, how'd you come up with that? It's like, yeah. look, there's gremlins. We're gonna give them something completely different. Kind of like Tusk Avenger two. If you know, one and two are like totally completely different films, and I love them both. Right. I, I think Tusk Avenger two is the better movie, personally. Oh, you know what? Damn. I'm gonna tell you. The first taxi I saw was part two. The first me too. one I saw me too, was part actually. Two. Yeah, mine was part two also. Yeah. And it's oh, yeah. it's because I think at that point uh they'd already adopted that version of the head on mm -hmm. their logo, and you would see it and and that's the taxi that would take off. And then when you would see the old boxes for the first one and he doesn't look the same, you're like, Well, they got it right in the sequel. Uh exactly. <laughs> But I loved the sequel so much that when I went back and saw the first one, I was like, oh, so this it is the upgrade. It is the upgrade. But this is this is roots, baby. This is uh, this is how it's See, supposed I, to be. I always personally my favorite toxie is Citizen Toxie. I think that movie yeah. is so absurd and fucking gross and offensive and just like the best ways you can possibly be. It it's it's my favorite taxi. I think it goes for me. It goes like four, two, one, and three. Four, two, one, and three. I think. Yeah, and I still like three a lot too. See, I, I, I've I, I've, I've watched three a couple of times, and honestly, every time I watch it, I can't tell you what happened in that movie. Like every time I watch it, it just goes like <laughs> like straight Five over my levels of doom. <laughs> <laughs> when uh. When... <laughs> When Rick Collins, uh, as the chairman of the board, is, uh, you will fall down and work for me. Work for me. Worship me. And you're like, oh, my God. What? what Dude, it's incredible. I, yeah. I, I love three so much. The video star scene. And then there's loads of, like, drama llama stuff with his wife seen again and it's it's like a tv episode you know what i mean yeah. and then you so you know the what, ending, the, that you brings know? up a good question in general I mean, it has nothing to do with i mean it kind of doesn't kill the tomatoes but like the idea of sequels right because i mean i feel like a lot of today i mean also because a lot of these movies suck too and tollywood whatever but it's like everyone's like oh we're getting all these sequels 
to all this stuff and like they're not great but it's like i love sequels like i think i don't know i think there are good ways to make sequels but i don't know if you guys have an opinion on sequels as a, a general whole well I mean, yeah, you know, Eating Miss Campbell's a sequel to Banjo. True. And the only yeah. reason why I made it a sequel is so I could sell the Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> you can know, yeah. buy the double pack right now at refusefilms.com nice. for $39, you know. Um, I love sequels. I love continuation of characters. In fact, a lot of the movies I first saw as a kid on cable, as you guys call it, but we call it Sky Satellite, <laughs> were sequels because Child's Play 2, uh, fucking, yeah, a lot of the first movies were sequels I ever saw. Toxic Avenger 2. Actually, you know, I and... saw Clerks 2 before I ever saw Clerks 1. Oh, yeah. Oh, Wait, fuck. what? Yeah. What? When I was like in high school, uh, someone, I, it was on HBO and I just threw it. I literally, I was flipping through channels. I heard the the porch monkey scene, and I was like, "This is the funniest thing I've ever watched in my life." And I just watched like the rest of the movie, <laughs> and then Isn't, I watched dude, Clerks I, after that. I love Clerks, and I first I saw like Dogma, Clerks, Small Rats, and Chase and Amy, um, and then Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. I saw in the cinema, and then when I heard Clerks two were coming out, I was so excited because I grew up on Clerks and the animated TV show, but I felt like I grew up with these characters. And Clerks two, the theatrical experience to me was just so emotional. Oh, that's great. great movie. I wish I saw it in theaters. Look, I loved it I... so. You know what? I loved it so much, and you know, I'm glad I saw it in theaters. I just wish Kevin Smith saw Eating Miss Campbell in a theater too. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> me too, Liam. There slated to and then yeah. did not yeah oh he went slated. to rehab oh man poor oh, kevin oh, smith fucking oh dogma april fool's day oh april fool's go fuck yourself you know seriously it's like oh is that an april fool's dogma thing was, was about dogma april thing. it's not coming out oh no. that's so but lame it, yeah i mean dogma it, it, the, the new poster should be produced by a convicted rapist <laughs> well if that's the case so, a lot of movies should be <laughs> I know, but to be fair i mean it'd be great for marketing you know they should all retcon every last one of those movies and at that point all of them made by the company uh, you, look, look weinstein right convicted yeah, yeah. rapist pulp fiction mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> scream mm -hmm. yeah yeah, at, at clerks. Yeah. <laughs> so, so like, you know, if I was the judge, if I was Judge Reinhold, like in Clerks animated episode four, I'd be like, I'll, I'll let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's the thing, though, with with even like a lot of that, and you talk about like sequels and stuff. All right, Clerks two holds a very special spot. I also saw uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back in uh, in the theater, oh, that's and. Cool. Every every frame of it was wonderful, funniest thing I'd ever seen at the time. All of that got excited for the reboot. Like yeah. I really did. I genuinely was like, okay, you can't do me wrong. It's characters I love. But then it, it I guess it attempted to play on reboot way too much for me. And in the fact that it's like, oh, it's so much of a reboot it's the exact same story but they're trying to wedge in just a couple things and i point of fact i thought it was kind of lazy and i really hated i hated no, no, i, I kind of get it i i personally like it because i think it's like no. a weird kevin smith like love letter to himself uh, so it's, a lot, it's all in jokes <laughs> but that's what i, I think i like sure. about it because it's all in jokes um but that's why I don't think it works as a sequel because it's all in jokes. But I think that's what yeah. I think is personally wrong with a lot of sequels because even new Ghostbusters, like it's just like why do we have to keep talking about these things that existed before? I mean, I look at Ghostbusters two or even Gremlins two. They don't really talk about those first movies at all. They they relate to them, but they don't like like in new Ghostbusters. Like, oh, we need to use the pole and the you know like <laughs> we have to like literally melt down the pole in the movie. You know, spoilers or like they're always talking about they I mean they bring back like the fucking uh the library ghost or whatever it's like yeah i hate that it's like we're I just hate that like, I, I mean i i rewatched afterlife uh recently and mm -hmm. that was just nostalgia porn yeah. like yeah yeah it's just too married to that first movie you and know what yeah you know what though what here here's the thing though what what they did and what they did right 
And what I really wanted to see continue was when they got, uh, oh my God, what was it? Uh, Tina Fey, Kate McCrackle. Uh, uh, what's the other one? I'm talking about the 2016 uh, Ghost Party. The 2016. Yeah. Movie. The Lady Ghostbusters. I mean, that's the story I want to see continue. I don't say the internet seemed to love it. That's what people were clamoring <laughs> for. I don't see why we didn't see more. I, of I it. think there's a world where that movie could have actually <laughs> have worked because those are like because I think that's the core of Ghostbusters is four comedians. But yeah, uh, I, I I I literally got 15 minutes into the 2016. Ghost. I've never finished it. I, I literally got yeah. 15 minutes into it and I was like, I'm I'm done. I don't need to watch this. You know, I've not seen it, but I remember seeing the trailer, and it looked like a Nickelodeon movie. Yeah, which yep. love Nickelodeon movies, but Ghostbusters shouldn't be a Nickelodeon movie. And, you know, and then it felt like the filmmakers kind of weaponized it with the negative feedback online and tried yeah. to make it like a, a sexist thing. Like <laughs> we all, were like, you know, uh, like mm, we were watching mm. this video about it. It was an honest trailers actually. And they literally posted a clip of Donald Trump yelling about Ghostbusters 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's how polarizing that movie was. It got to fucking the political presidencies. Fucking <laughs> so so, the, and that's that's the thing with it is like, and this is a conversation that I love is when a fandom universally pans a thing, the creators and the people that are getting the feedback, the artists, the money grabbers, the whatever these folks. They, oh, well, it must be because you're sexist. You can't handle women for Ghostbusters. And it's not that. It's like the script wasn't good. The uh, yeah, These are funny it, women. All four of them are, are hilarious comedians. I do not care about... I look right, mates. Yeah. So like right. twice in cinema, that should count for something, right? Yeah. It does. It really does. <laughs> like, you, you have no idea. Your stock just went way up in, like, everybody's book right now. <laughs> I am so inclusive. Dude, but the thing I am, is... I am trans. I am transatlantic. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the thing, though, that, that, that bugs me about it the most is that, like, they refuse to admit that maybe the movie could be lackluster. It can't be the thing that we made. It has to be you, you. and your attitude. The problem is with yeah. you, the viewer. The problem is with you, Ben. It is me. <laughs> it is me. I think too much about it. That I'm, Cis, I'm... white, male... <laughs> <laughs> allegedly allegedly you can't allegedly. call people this is getting really political now <laughs> Pol political tunial. see what ghostbusters 2016 does to people <laughs> yeah Dude, if you Ghostbusters 2016 was so bad they had to change the name to answer the call yeah i've seen that now <laughs> every time i see the movie pop up it's just called answer the call now or ghostbusters answer the call which you is, know why oh. you know why Cause that's where women should be answering the fucking call. At home. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. Ghostbusters get back in the kitchen. <laughs> so, Ghostbusters wow. make sandwiches. We're making big statements over here, friends. <laughs> big big statements. I might have to. Uh, oh, my Skype might be going down very soon. I don't know. <laughs> this is more like Ghostbusters. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna end up ghosting you guys. <laughs> and catch Totally Tunular every Saturday morning on Spotify, where your favorite cartoons used to be. Oh.